guys, so today I'm finally gonna get to filming the Ask Danielle video. I had you guys submit your questions, I think, like last Sunday, so I'm finally getting around to the Ask Danielle. So sorry, things have been a little crazy. Olivia is sick. Well, we just found out about that on Wednesday. She started coughing and she has a little bit of a fever today. And, um, you know, like the house is a mess, please excuse. Some of her food from her lunch is still on her trip trap and on the floor. And there is um, her toys, so sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we're back from holiday. Holiday was really, really good. I'm feeling a little tired today. I'm kind of worried I might get sick too just because I'm feeling so incredibly tired. Um, so yeah, I hope not. I hate being sick. I just hate it. And Olivia's being quite a trooper so far, I must say. We didn't get much sleep last night, but I think she's you know, handling it pretty well. I wanted to give a huge congratulations to Kelsey, plus one please. Um, oh my goodness, I am so over the moon excited for you. And I also wanted to give a shout out to Frowny Brown. I think that's your username. Um, she found out that she's having a little girl and oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how excited I am for you. Like that little girl's gonna be so gorgeous because you are so gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I just, huge congratulations to all of the exciting news. And I think the Sakoni Jollies are gonna find out what they're having here soon so I'm so excited and the shade tards are gonna have their baby soon I'm not gonna lie guys I am a little bit broody with all of this exciting news you guys are all making me broody so okay I'm gonna go ahead and get started on your guys's questions okay, this is by Josh and Cynthia Gamez what are some names you have in mind for future kits um, I have a lot of names that I really like. I'll put a link right here to my favorite um, baby names at the moment. I filmed that video not too long ago. I don't know 100% sure what we're gonna name like our next, our future children. Um, at the moment, I'm just gonna go ahead and share my favorite ones at the moment because my favorite names change so much. Um, at the moment for a girl, I'm really liking the name Amira and the middle name Belle, so Amira Belle. And I'm really loving um, the names Elias for a boy. I don't know what I would use as a middle name and I'm really loving the first name River um, But it's kind of hippy dippy, but I really really like it. This is also by Josh and Cynthia Gamez My I'm nine months pregnant and I wanted to know what are some techniques that helped you in labor? I think um, what helped me the most in labor was just kind of ignoring everything that I had practiced in my Bradley method. I studied the Bradley method before I was giving birth and that method is basically, um, you know, it's kind of controlling in a way I feel because the way that they describe how you should react to labor, they're kind of like, you really need to study this method and if you don't study this method, you are not going to have a natural labor. But I found that it was a little narrow-minded. Basically what they tell you to do is they tell you to basically lie down and relax when you have your contractions. And if you're not relaxing, you're not gonna be able to get through them. I found that not to be true for me. Um, I think what's most important is that you just go with what works for you and what is your instinct. Um, for me, the best thing for me was to stand up and um, swivel my hips when I was having contractions. And I think that that's possibly why she was so easy to come out because I was kind of you know, swiveling her down into my pelvis and she was in perfect position. So I think just do whatever comes naturally to you. I think it's a good idea to take birthing classes to understand what's going on with your body and to learn different techniques. All right, this is by Maria Stella Bernadelli. Um, before you got your positive pregnancy test, did you have any signs and symptoms that made you think that you are pregnant? Yes, I did. And um, I think my biggest symptom was my nipples hurting really, really bad. I always get kind of tender nipples before I start my period, um, or I always did. I don't really anymore now that I'm breastfeeding. I don't really notice it, I guess. But um, it was a lot different. It was a lot more intense. Like even the pressure of the shower water was too much for me. And um, one time when we were in the mall, I was with my sister and my hubby and we were walking around and all of a sudden I got this like intense sharp pain that just surged through both of my nipples at the same time and it felt like somebody was like, I don't know, poking my nipples with needles or something. It hurt really, really bad. Like I had to actually stop and like hold my boob and say, ow. And that only happened like one or two times in my whole pregnancy. Um, but that was before I got my positive pregnancy test. I think I ended up testing like a couple days later. Um, so yeah, I definitely did have some things that were out of the ordinary um, before I found out that I was pregnant. This is by Mel Kelly. Did you ever have ovulation pain? If so, what does it feel like? 
Um, yes, I have, and I think I have it just about every time. And to me, it just feels like very, very low gas pain in a way that's on one side. And I tend to get very bloated like before I ovulate. Um, I think when I ovulate, things kind of settle down, but I think during the um, sort of the egg release time, I get really bloated. And um, I do experience a little bit of like a twingy crampiness on one side sometimes. I mean, most of the time I do, sometimes I don't. This is by Ruth Penna. What did your family think when you told them you were moving to a different country? My family, um, they all had kind of different emotions and reactions. Um, my sister had just had her baby three months prior um, to me saying I was leaving. So she was really emotional about it and she didn't like the idea at all. And I think my mom kind of saw it coming. Um, of course she was very emotional and very sad about it as well. But I think she understood a little bit more about where we were coming from because she kind of knew how much we were struggling in San Francisco. So overall I think most of my friends and family were just really kind of sad but at the same time just really hoping for the best for us. This is by Emily Ann Anita. I can't say your last name, I'm sorry. Um, did you ever find yourself getting upset seeing other infants reaching certain milestones before Olivia? If so, was it hard or easy for you to remind yourself that each baby grows and learns at your own pace? Any advice? No, I never ever, I think, got upset about seeing other children reach milestones before Olivia. Um, I actually studied child development. I took a couple of courses when I was in college and I'm pretty aware of like when all of the steps and stages happen and I realized that all children are so incredibly different and develop at their own pace and I've babysat so many children in the past um, so I never got upset over it. Plus Olivia was always pretty much doing things either textbook or a little bit before um, they said she would be doing it for that week. This is by Ashley is TTC. Do you plan on using the Diva Cup while TTC again? No, we don't. When we do start TTC, it's going to be a pretty easygoing approach. This is by Katakuta Cat. Um, when TTC number two, are you going to be using ovulation tests, charting closely? No, we are going to do very easygoing. Um, do you wear foundation, and if so, which one? No, I don't wear foundation, and... I don't really like wearing foundation. So um, another thing about the TTC I wanted to say is that I do take ovulation tests at the moment. I think a lot of you guys get confused on Facebook when I say like, oh, I got a positive ovulation test. I think a lot of you guys are confused that we're TTC, but I actually take them um, to prevent pregnancy right now. So um, that's kind of why I take them. Plus I'm just kind of obsessed with peeing on sticks and I love like knowing exactly what my body's doing. So I like to take ovulation tests still. But when we are TTC, I wanted to keep it pretty easy going. Um, at least that's the plan. So, all right, that's about it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.